Paulina mi lai dana ya semenya kudungu, tinda ping tinda gugu aka maya ndala le ping mor. Aura simbu kuki se kamune yo ramba. Aura simbu kuki se ye ye. Aura simbu kuki se ye ye. Ochien Kabasele, a legend from a Sembo Kukise. Today at the shores of Lake Victoria, we are meeting Ogola Oyer, who is his brother, and he is going to help us understand all that transpired before and after he started his music, and even after his death. By the way, people confuse Ochien Kabasele and Regi Kabasele. Join us so that we understand and know who is who between the two. How are you, sir? I'm fine, I'm fine. You are doing well? I'm doing well. I'm so happy that you agreed to do this interview with, with us. Thanks, I'm happy. You're happy too? Too. So, Ogola, as, as, because I've heard Ogola in the songs of Chienka Basele, where he was singing uh, about the death of the dad I want to believe. His father, yeah. So is this Ogola you or Ogola somebody? Or were you named after the Ogola he was singing about? Actually, my real name is Oyer. Mm -hmm. But Ogola is our father. Okay. So like we do, Almost in all African cultures. Mm -hmm. I'm Oyer Ogola. Okay. So like he says he's Wood Ogola, I'm also Wood Ogola. Wood Ogola. Yes. Oh, Very good. perfect. Mm -hmm. Now, I'd, I'd wish to know, actually, uh, that uh, you help us understand. Mm -hmm. uh, maybe where uh, Uchienka Basele was born, and then take us through that history to a point now whereby he started doing mm -hmm. the, his music here. Yeah. Uh, actually, I got the story from him. Mm -hmm. uh, Initially, Kabasele was born, uh, what do you call it, outside marriage. Mm -hmm. My father did not marry his mother. Mm -hmm. So what happened that he was born at his mother's place. Mm -hmm. I, I want to believe it's around 1950, mm -hmm. if I'm not wrong. I stand to be corrected. Okay. So he was born that time. But then my, my father married another lady. Mm -hmm. Of course, he ended up marry, marrying so many women. <laughs> so, <laughs> so he married a first wife, yeah. who actually comes from Utonglo. Mm -hmm. Utonglo here in Kisumu? Yes, okay. Molasses. Mm -hmm. Kotetne, actually. Okay. She's Luis Nyamunga. Mm -hmm. Then, uh, uh, I think, at that time, mm -hmm. my father used to stay in, in Asembo Ramba. Mm -hmm. That is Ko, Kokise. Kokise. Actually, there's a story for another day, how mm -hmm. we moved from Bwaja. Uh -huh. We are your same book of Kisema Bwaja. Okay. But we moved to Ramba. Okay. That, uh, that's a story for another for day. For another day. Of course, so, we'll have more of this. Yeah, so I suppose it's like uh, there's a story I'm told that my father used to play music mm -hmm. those days mm -hmm. after school, I think. Yeah. Him, Bishop Okulu, mm -hmm. and uh, a brother of his who gave me the story called Oraja, mm -hmm. Richard. Yeah. So I think it's during this time that they used to play music that they came across these ladies, including the mother to Kabasele. Mm -hmm. So when this issue happened, my father was still going to school and he was sponsored by the CMS mm -hmm. church. Yeah, okay. So it's like it was going to be wrong for the church to realize that he has done such a thing. <laughs> <laughs> so, so there's one, mm. he couldn't marry this lady. Mm -hmm. And two, mm. the lady had to be moved away from there okay. so that the issue could not be no, spread. No. Yes. Yeah, okay. yes. So actually, Kabasele was born in Ramba, mm -hmm. and from him, yeah. he schooled in Ramba until I think around Sunday, class three. So when, when did actually Kabasele maybe, because you've said he, he was born outside marriage. Uh, marriage. Yes. So this means most of his life as a young man, he, he stayed was at with the mother. Yes, at his mother's place. So how, how did he come back? Was he told now this is your place? Now, yeah. actually, uh, what happened is that... Like, uh, the mother got married to some Jagem. Mm -hmm. You remember you saying Kaduri? Yes. So that is where the Kaduri issue comes. Oh, okay. So this mother was taken and married to a Jagem who stayed in Nairobi and used to work with the Kenya Railways. Mm -hmm. This is game in Siaya or in... The game in Siaya. Okay. Yes. Mm. Um, Sirembe. Sirembe. Such a thing. Okay. So this lady was taken, mm -hmm. but Kabasele, I think, remained 
at Ramba for quite some time. Mm -hmm. Actually, this lady is the one who ended up now giving birth to the Kaduris. Okay. Onyango Kaduri, mm -hmm. Omundi Kaduri, mm -hmm. Barakudindo Kaduri, okay. there is Chandi Kaduri, there is uh, Boaso Goli. Mm -hmm. There are quite a number, and interestingly, almost all of them are into music. Okay. So, Kabasele was taken to stay with them after some time. Mm -hmm. Actually, he told me he went to school in Ramba up to class three, mm -hmm. and even tells me that a classmate of his, mm -hmm. a lady, mm -hmm. who used to sit next to him, mm -hmm. he told me in the Luo, mm -hmm. called Songa, yeah. got married to Ogola, mm -hmm. but he didn't know that that Ogola is his father. He didn't at that time. E, okay. Yes, he didn't. Mm -hmm. So he went and lived with these people. Actually, even me, I was born in Eldoret and started growing up. At that time, okay, I used to hear Kabasele songs. Mm -hmm. I knew some of them, but I didn't know that we were related. Mm -hmm. So this went on until, I think, the years around, around 1977, 78. Mm -hmm. Then some sort of, I started hearing stories at home. Kabasele mm -hmm. so, mm -hmm. so, you know, my father had so many children. Mm -hmm. By the way, he had like eight wives. <laughs> So imagine, and four of them were staying in one compound. That is where I was staying. Okay. So our first mother, Louise Nyamunga, mm -hmm. and then my mother, called Jane. Mm -hmm. She's she is also from Asimbo Kakia, mm -hmm. where Kabasele's mother comes from. Okay. Actually, they are cousins. Mm -hmm. Then my third mother is also from the same Asimbo Kakia, the one who Kabasele used to sit with. Mm. So Kabasele was taken there as we were growing this side. Okay. So this time when I heard that story. There was, a, there was nobody to ask. I mean, people are senior. You know, I'm almost the 13th or 14th born of my father's children. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm, I'm quite behind. So, who to ask? Sure. So, one time when we were going to the shops with my the eldest in, our, in my mother's house, mm -hmm. I asked him in the winter, to, what can I sell my window? Mm -hmm. Then he asked me, and what money? Mm -hmm. Then I told him, that it's like Kabasele comes from this family. Yeah. Then he told me yes. Then I told him, I asked him how. Mm -hmm. He told me he's your brother. He told me he's your, not our, your brother. <laughs> and I asked him how. Mm. Then my brother from another mother called Bob, actually I should now call him Bishop Bob. Mm -hmm. He's a bishop in the Czech Republic. Okay. Yeah, Bob Elekia. Mm. Then he asked me, Bob to what do you And I told him to Bob. Baba wa chel to me nawa mupuguri. Then told me same ke kabasel. Mm. Hey, I left it at that. You're okay. Yes. So the story continued at home. I was in school by then. Mm -hmm. Then, come eighty one and my father dies. Mm -hmm. This guy had not come. He was not home yet. I'd never seen him. Mm. So the funeral was conducted. Interestingly, mm -hmm. I was not there. I was in school. Mm -hmm. So he was buried when I was not there. So that to ka wonge. That Kabasele sings, and be no yike Actually, I can remember, mm. he was buried daytime, and I arrived home at almost Sanane Usi. Mm. And then there was that Magenga, yep. and I found his brother, mm. and some old men that I used to see, and I said, now I was, you know me, I was coming at it, this guy is sick. Yeah. Not that he is dead. He's dead. So I was like, hey, Baba ni tuuma ji yoma na machi yawa. So, his brother was telling this other was his mine at the money to come in yes good. Mm. And this is the kid who was not there, mm. who, who they were waiting for, yeah. Yeah, okay. So the funeral was contacted, everything ended. Mm -hmm. I went back to school. Then in nineteen eighty two, yeah. That was eighty one. Yeah. In nineteen eighty two Kabasele mm. came home. Okay. So it was dramatic mm. and it was funny. Because my the, my sister who follows me mm -hmm. had already left school because of other reasons. Mm -hmm. And now she was working in some Indian shop in Eldoret town. Mm -hmm. She used to go in the morning and come back in the evening. Mm -hmm. Now all along we knew how our eldest brother was Peter Aduyu. Mm -hmm. Peter Aduyu Ugula. Mm -hmm. Remember I'm a year, Ugula Aduyu. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so my sister comes and says, Arumo ge Peter ge Baba. So I was like, Peter ge Baba man. Because Baba is already dead. Baba died, no. I don't Baba no. So, ni yan bi nane no. Baba died, but a room ge Peter ge Baba. So we were wondering, and but Kube, she's met Peter ge Kabasele. Chal ge Baba. So Kabasele is a copyright. Copy. In fact, we had war with him when when we 
we became used to one another and mm. became, actually we became very good friends. Mm -hmm. So the next day in the morning this guy comes and he arrives at the gate Bwana. We ran because and Baba. <laughs> Baba doing to work with my quad. And interestingly, at that time, three of my mothers were staying in that same compound. Uh -huh. So that is the Soi, Kongoni. Yeah. So the nearest town, of course, is Eldoret or Kitale, but we like saying, why Eldoret? Uh -huh. So, my eldest sister, Ndiya Le uh -huh. Rebecca, okay. Rebecca Utino. Yeah. So, Kabasele said, ne, I'm not saying inside the house. Get now to stool or cockatacho. Put a stool for me outside there to when you think of your kalakiel, kakiel, tingy sali. So it's like, Buru. <laughs> so you know, it's like news has spread in Machakabasel. Our home was big. Calling any ekalo, tingy sending Mao year. I can remember him say, Mao year, eh? And Kataka Merkali to you. That's the first day we saw him. Okay. Now remember, our father died in eighty one. Mm. This is eighty two. Mm. He is come. Yeah. So that introduction was done. Of course, the rest we were. Uh, by the way, I was in secondary school. Mm -hmm. The rest continued, and then he went back. Okay. Then I think he came back several times mm. with his family. Now mm -hmm. there's a time he came with his kids. Then there's a different time he came with his wives. Mm. Then in nineteen eighty three. Yeah. He released that song, mm. Ura Ugu Ladu. Uh -huh. He released the song, Ura Ugu Ladu. Now, remember, he was staying away. I didn't know he was my brother. Yeah. And then he comes home in 1982. Yeah. In 1983, he's released this song. Yeah. Then, uh, uh, in uh, 1985, yes. I went to Nairobi. Of course, I'd finished school. Yeah. And I, I was to join college. Mm -hmm. Then he told me that he, didn't, he never wanted me. We met by accident in town. Mm -hmm. In Nairobi, we just met by accident. Mm -hmm. Actually, we went to my, my, what I called my mother's father. Mm -hmm. That's my paternal grandfather. Yeah. The brother to my father, mother's. Mm -hmm. he, he had a clinic, Accra Road in Nairobi. Okay. So when we were up, I think fourth floor. Mm -hmm. And this, this is my grandfather says, I will you do al kamar wudo gula penka. Then he looks through the window, turn in. Then he calls him, Niwodogola, and he was very happy. Bika Mama Umaronika. And you know, he knows this guy. Yeah. And he knows this guy is the father to that mother, Mama. Mm -hmm. So he comes and finds us now, the mother. Mm -hmm. He was so happy. Mm -hmm. So we made, made stories, stories, stories. Then he tells me, but I didn't Little did he know that I didn't know Nairobi. Or no gola one of the streets. We walked. And then we went to some place where he used to. He told me that Kai office was. This is our office. And he introduced me to somebody, Tim. Mm -hmm. I think it's Tim Ayeko. Mm -hmm. This is the guy who he said, <laughs> They used to share yeah, the same office. Mm -hmm. So we stayed, he introduced me to this guy. Then he decided, Hey, I'm going to go to Mama's lunch. I'm going to go to Mama's lunch. I'm going to go to Mama's lunch. But I couldn't tell him. Yeah. So we just went to the street and I located the place and got it. So mother pia kanuliza, eh na ule mwacha wapi? Eh bana we went looking for the place we couldn't get it. Umbe mm. this place that I left as a shop mm. has now been turned to a hotel me sikujua. Mm. So we finished that actually he told me he wanted to take me to college <laughs> in India. Mm. Of course I had high hopes but that was 1985. <laughs> 86 mina soma kwa gazeti he's been jailed. He didn't tell us. We didn't know. Yeah. In fact, I remember my eldest brother Peter commenting, "Nika basele to Tim Renard. Why didn't he tell us? Mondo anegi monyati. Mukuru is already jailed, and the 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 the, the headline was like he, he he cried that he's been jailed. So Peter was like, "Oh, you are going on. So so why was he being jailed? Actually, yeah. okay, we can go to that. But you see. Mm. Let, let me say this. Okay. He went to jail. Mm. He was jailed for three years. Mm -hmm. He stayed there for three years. That is 86 to 87, mm -hmm. 88, then 89. Mm -hmm. He was released. Mm -hmm. Actually, in 89, mm. I went and saw him in jail before, before, before he came out. Released. Yes. Uh -huh. I went to King Ongo. Mm -hmm. Actually, I, I took that brother of mine when I paid you, Kabasele Wangonad. Yeah. We went with him, took his wives in Karubangi, mm -hmm. Nairobi. Mm -hmm. Then we went to King Ongo, we saw him. Mm -hmm. So I didn't know, that's what 
made us become friends now. Mm -hmm. You know he was a brother, there's nothing you can do about brother. Yeah. And that is what he used to say. Sure. But adding that friendship yeah. is upon you. Sure. Yes. So, after he was released, he came and he got a contract here in Kisumu. Mm -hmm. This of spreading AIDS. Mm -hmm. It was something with the European Union and the Kenyan government, something yeah. like that. Yeah. I remember there was a MOH here called Owino Nafa. Mm -hmm. We used to work with him. Mm -hmm. So he wanted to, to, to spread that, that. They wanted us to spread that news about AIDS and, and whatsoever. HIV, yeah. Yes. So he met me. When he came, mm -hmm. actually those days, you know, those days my school of Lori Renge the Dala. Yeah. So there was a cousin of mine who used to work at the Kenya Breweries Kisumu. Mm -hmm. And he's named, he's mentioned several times in most of his music, mm. Eli Julu, yeah. or Year. Yeah. So this is Eli Julu, or Year, and Wood, or Year. Mm -hmm. Or Year, who is me, mm. is my brother's father. Oh, okay. And anyone, Eli Julu. Mm -hmm. So I'm named after him. Okay. So I used to, like, even in the weekends, I used to come during the weekends to Eli's place. Mm. Then an octopus, Dunga Genege. Mm. So anytime, I came to Kisuma to go to Konalejo. Yeah. Then this time I went to Konalejo. Then I don't know how it happened that Kabasele's second wife came and he told me ni Kabasele mm. owacho mm. ni kiki di Eldoret. Kabasele say don't go to Eldoret. Mm. Kesho kuna rusi ya ndugu ya Joan. Joan do bibi yake mm -hmm. And he's not going to attend. Go on his behalf. <laughs> okay. Yeah, and you know I don't know those people. Mm. So me the next day in the morning I just went for the wedding okay. on Jeko. Yeah, okay. Kumbe it was the wedding of Dick, 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 uh, Abok, mm -hmm. brother Abok, mm -hmm. the former principal of Zoom Boys. Okay. Uh, he's a brother to Chika Baseli mm -hmm. So I went. Then it was funny that I was given a lot of privilege. So I was asking, mm -hmm. I didn't know. Mm -hmm. When I came back in the evening, it was like I was like I go to Eldoret or Adiki. Mm. Then all of a sudden, the same same wife comes again, and then he tells me, "Nika baselo watoni kiki di Eldoret riteubi." And in less than ten minutes, he was there, and he was so happy. In fact, he gave me some amount. Some amount. Tapi njani kabasele ma manadi. Ni ebo na yobri present me so well a Russia ma undi. One meter. We, we talked with that, the family of my, my, that cousin of mine for a while. Then he told me, when I acquired the car, then I come at the go to one corner Yeah. So he texts me, we are walking mm. towards, towards Kondele. Mm. Actually, the place that we, we, he was playing music was, by then it was called Confidential Hotel. Mm -hmm. Karispa. This part was a council. Mm. Mama Manya Simbuli. Yes. Now that is the place called Alcazar right now. Mm. Mm. So as we were going, he asked me to eat the Mangodala. Mm. I said, what are the other land rules? No, Okkom, Okdo, Okpur, Okriti, eat the Mangodala. When I bid Kai Konya Gotu, that's how I entered into music. Mm. So in fact, that day I didn't even go back to my cousin to sleep. Okay. I just went to collect my bag the next day. I was given a room at Confidential. I was, uh, I was given uh, a meal, I mean... So you st started training music? I didn't start. Yeah. You know, I told him, yeah. I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do. You can even help me in collecting money at the gates. Uh -huh. Ah, then I understood. The security and so on. Yeah. So I went. Now, this is the time we became friends now. Mm -hmm. We became real friends now. Yeah, yeah. Now you're asking me, no to mm -hmm. This is... Now, during this duration, I think that was now 1989, 90. Yes. He started, we, we used to sit with him quite often and he used to tell me stories because I also used to ask. Yeah. But interestingly, if I asked, he gave me the answers. But if anybody asked, yeah. to go in. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> so he told me uh. that actually, Gimami or not, way, mm. these, these guys who were the forces in 82 after the coup, yeah. they were given an, um, an amnesty. Mm -hmm that if you return the guns, then you'll be pardoned. Yeah. So two guys feared returning Nijo Gugundo to Brom Makowa. So they gave him the guns, Mondo, for work. To one gun, Ongisa Nino Uso ne Kariamiti. Actually, I had Kariamiti say over the radio, Nika Baseli Uchenga Lili Uzi a gun. 45K. He told me the same. Mm -hmm. So I, I do turn, actually, 
A friend of mine who recently told me there is a clip, Makaria mm. Miti Wache Ginunu Chinka Basel. So there is a, how, you know, he was just very talkative. Yeah. He talked and somebody realized, you know, Nengegan, Tono Pande Kamoro. So that is what mm. made him go. Okay. So they added these other things, Sijuni and Jamwa Kenya, Sijuni mm. and Basically, that was the thing. So, you know, that time from 89, now is when he started telling me the story, how it was. Mm -hmm. So, it's like, see, I told you that he was taken when he was around after class three. Yes. And then he told me, and this is one of the controversial points. Yes. How did he know that Okenja game? Mm. So, there is this issue of Godala in the world. Mm -hmm. Normally, I'm told that uh, Kiti Godala, you have to go with your firstborn. Boy child. Mm. So, see him, he knew he was the firstborn boy child. Yes. So, him he was told, like, I'm giving a tentative example, mm. come on Thursday. Mm. And he told me that he was used to, like, when people are going home, ending away, and him he considered because he was the eldest. Gikma mm. should be what you think, he's being mistreated. Yeah. Actually, he even told me, I got a ticket in my third class. Mm. So Jokumo gave me a second cut of first. Mm. But him, he said he didn't mind because the third class could be a new bell. He said, I'm going to go to the Mandas, my Jokman is a new class. We'll come and he'll buy them these things. Yeah. So him, he was told you, like, come on Thursday. Mm. When he went on that Thursday, mm. to go to the gate, he said, hey, come on, get here, get here. Kata he didn't go to the gate, bro. Yeah. So he told me, he told me, he never went into it. He just came back to Kizumu. By that time, he was a musician, Mungere. Mm. And I think it was in the 70s. Yes. Kora no bira bira Kizumu kato te mo gige mo te mo gato. He went back to Nairobi. So he took Mungere. Yeah. Kora Mungere, he mo pe njo ni ni gikmana neno dalaka okan wuda lam aja kani. And this one, this one, even the wife told me. Yeah. They really struggled with the mom because he used to ask, and the mom used to say, "Ano wara." So that happened for quite a while until one time he told me that the mother Alimsho wa mama wa tatu in a simple. Now he didn't tell me who the mothers were, but I can guess. Mathematics gives you something. One of them must have been Yonia Sweto. Mano mama wa matukunza. The other one must have been Salome. Oracha, mm. and the other one must be must have been held out here. Who don't use any day to pay me nothing. Now, at our home in Ramba, mm. the first home market down your dollar or dollar macro clan watch up and my mama will be in your sweater. To any because the place he grew up and the primary man who saw me are just next, mm. he knew these homes. Yeah, so him he went and he tells me, You cannot don't you don't you can you near it or you near. Emo chako kore ni gudo go lai biro toge nyero. Tungi so yoni ane ni gima okela beise tiyeko. Nita ngo mo keli. Ni donge mama wa ungi sana biya peni ni baba. Nti donge ni gudo go laka doyo makani. That's how we knew it. And I think that was around seventy seven, seventy eight. I'm not so sure. Then another controversial issue. Mama biya sana no kaji ndiko marong. When was this guy in the forces? Yes. This guy was in the forces in the early 70s. Mm -hmm. Because that is when he was still young and energetic. Yes. And uh, he, he used to play for Scarlet. There was a Scarlet band for the forces yeah. that used to come from Nakuru. Mm -hmm. And this band used to play in very many these air shows. Uh -huh. I met a friend. Uh -huh. He's a Luo named Karwa. Uh -huh. And he told me that he used to work in Nakuru and he left Nakuru in 1975. Mm -hmm. But he danced Kabasele playing with Sax Scarlett when he was in Nakuru. Mm -hmm. That means it was before 1975. Mm -hmm. Yes. So, so he left forces. Did he retire or maybe? No. He, uh, actually, what happened with forces? You see, all these barracks have bands. Yes. So, don't tell me that the, the people who are playing music in these bands in the barracks must be. Soldiers. Mm. There are some who are not soldiers, but the moment you enter, mm. they incorporate you. Yeah. You must not necessarily go for that training. Sure, sure. <laughs> but you'll be given the uniforms and whatsoever. Mm. So you have that liberty of being there or leaving. Mm -hmm. So it's not it's not that he retired. Oh, okay. 
Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Actually, even his son, referred to as Babu, mm. we call him Babu, Joel Okeli, mm. was in the forces. Mm. Yes, and he was in the forces playing music. He played, I think, with Maroon. Mm. This, Maroon commanders? Yeah, these times of Akinalaba and mm. Ochoka and, okay. and Kibe and whatever, mm. after Abel. Okay. So he was there, and he, actually, I even have photographs of him. I have one, I think, okay. where he was in the forces with that uniform. Mm -hmm. So he played and left. Okay. Yes. I, I know Kabasele, who is a Congolese, if I'm not wrong. Yes, there is a Kabasele who is a Congolese. So Joseph is, Kabasele. Yes. So is Ochien Kabasele, is Kabasele his real name or how did this name come? Actually, yeah. his name is just like, uh, you know, of Abedi Pele of Ghana. Yeah. His name is not Pele. He became a baby Pele because of the Pele of Bra, Brazil. Brazil. Yes. Uh -huh. So this time when Kabasele was starting to play music, Joseph Kabasele was a name in Congo. Mm. Joseph Kabasele is what in Congo they call him Grand Kale. Mm. He played even actually this is the guy who incorporated Franco mm. for, to Belgium when they were going for the independence talk, mm -hmm. talks in, in 1956, I think. Mm -hmm. Joseph Kabasele. Mm -hmm. So when he used to play in those clubs in Nairobi, people used to refer to him as Kabasele. Okay. So when he recorded his first music, mm. actually he told me that there was a friend of his called Naftali. Mm -hmm. And then Kabasele, uh, Naftali used to enjoy him. Ni Kabasele, ni Kabasele. This is before he started? Yes, before. So when he recorded his first song, <laughs> Naftal Kosala, so, uh. At the studio, he thought Nigi ni kande ko nying mok kabasele ungu ngamru ngi niyana. So he decided he wrote it uching kabasele. Mm -hmm. Finally, it became it became his name. Ah. But the grand kabasele mm. is the one that Tabule and Franco sang when he died. Na zwanganga ngawa pi na sombelanga liwa ya kabasele. Do they maybe know each other? Kabasele of Kenya, Sembo Ramba, and Kabasele of uh, the Congolese. I'm I'm not sure. The people he told me he met. Yeah was Franco, who even gave him a guitar, mm -hmm. and Tabule, okay. who said that he, he's not a Luo. He's <laughs> a Congolese, but because he wants this market, yeah. he's changed his name, his music to Luo. Oh. And that is why he's Kabasele, and Jack Congo. <laughs> he refused. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so how long, uh, b before I ask that question, hmm. be because I wanted to know how long maybe you played, you were in, in this band with him. So before I ask that, hmm. People confuse uh, Regi, Kabasele, and Uchien Kabasele. Mm. More so my age. Mm -hmm. Those who didn't really see them perform. So who is who now? Between Actually, mm. uh, what happened is that as we were playing in uh, Confidential, mm -hmm. that is, uh, we started in late, actually December of 89. Yeah. Then we went to 90. Mm -hmm. Around 91, yeah. that was our residential pub. Mm. We used to play for those age things. We make our own dances in Kindu Bay, Miguri and whatever, but finally to Narudi Confidential. Mm -hmm. So one day when we was, I, I, I even had a room there. Uh -huh. So one day, and by the way, he had already made me the band manager. Uh -huh. Yeah, so it was me who was paying those musicians, and there were many. And you know, they, they come and go, come and go. So I met so many of them. Mm -hmm. And actually that is where even Musa Juma came to. Uh -huh. yeah. Musa Juma, he used to return an mm. So, uh, one day as we were seated with him, so you know this parking that Wameweka ballast, to make an aching bear cooking. Then a small boy comes at the gate and Kabasele tells me, I don't know what to do. 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 Then we let the, ca the kid come. <laughs> Bira bira. Onge kada wache. Manu 91. Uko chopoto omo soa to kabasele peje ni dunge uduongo na kora wele mulo sobi ya kiri. Ni ni no ora. Ori nang. Ni baba wanika. Linga mo. Mama u. Mama u no njenga. To odoko ni tabu nyara misi. To kabasele uchunga. Ni bwana. Go and tell this guy to reserve us one room. We have a visitor. <laughs> Don't gonna chew. So he wants to eliminate me from. <laughs> yes. Ka ka awo na deto peni na peni. Have you eaten? Ne an puka chiem. Oh yeah, duogi. Nuski gilos, nuski lo kanyo begi pur. So you know, kitambadi reception to reserve a room. Yeah. Abi kitchen ame kodan. 
You know, second back again, you know, Maka do go. Don't you say you know, the beard put it. This is Regi now. Oh, okay. Yes, yes. For only Sanibana, you know, Kagan, Minofo. Nothing in Kakaromi, Mamma Goda, Gada, Kanya, Pukuti, Kata school. That's how Regi came. So we look for a school for Regi, and we had a friend, Nilu, who met up tap. He was the principal of Kodo. We took Regi, Regi to Kodo. Okay. Then when the project was about to end, Mawadok Narubija, he went with the Kabasele to Nairobi and stayed with his family. Okay. Actually, he stayed with the family for so long, up to, I think, I think, 97. Mm. When he came back, Tungisano Regi, Tungisano Riembe, no Kualo Sidi. Yeah. Mm. So maybe, <laughs> so it means Regi grew up uh, with, with the mom, but then Kabasele was the real dad. Yes. Yes, that is what happened. Okay. Regi and 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 a missy bad man, a missy one, one, what do you call that place? Buddies, buddies, buddies in Yale. Mm. Yeah. So, so, okay, how did now because uh, you've told me when you were knowing Kabasele, mm. he had already started uh, doing music. Mm -hmm. So, how did Regi now come to start? now? Yeah. Regi. Yeah. She he started going to school and you know he was old yeah. and it was a bit uh, awkward for for him to go to school. Yeah. He had quite a number of problems mm. uh, as well, uh, with children in school. Yeah. You just know what happened. Yeah, yeah. I don't need to explain. Sure. So they reached a point where he, his dad is the one who told me that Reggie told him Nebu an anchor ka school ka on Kamase Chopenorum. Where I call you thing of speaking, let me help you in Yeah. But you see, being that he was there now, yeah. he had already started learning. Guza, guza, yes. Yeah. And actually not learning. He's, by the way, according to what I know about music, yeah. Reggie is one of the best musicians. Mm -hmm. Because Reggie can sing, mm -hmm. he can play the drum, mm -hmm. he can play the guitar. Mm -hmm. Yes, that's... Actually, Kabasel is the one who told me that. Niki, you the musician, many at Mugik Mukadi. Kikiwe. There was one who used to be called Bitota. Mm. Bitota was so good, but Ochendo Moki Nyalo. Kawun and Kodi King and a band. So he was telling me, I don't know about Bitota. So nice. Ki would have to kick away. So Kumbe Regi had learned the, the, the trend. Mm. So actually, Regi and Babu started playing music, Gikabasel. Is Regi still alive? Regi is there. D alive does and he still play music? Regi, today is Thursday. Eh. Fundo Baki Sumoka. Eh. What they what they do? He's there. Hey. Yes, he's playing. Wow. Hmm. <laughs> he's okay. There. So how long were you in this band? And what did you maybe learn? Did you also reach a level where you could sing? Actually, you see, when I went, mm. he told me at the corner, collecting revenue, he get mm. security and so on. Then, like within one or two weeks, mm. he already put me manager. Mm -hmm. Then there were things like sometimes when those guys were singing, I could just go to the stage. Mm. Mm -hmm. So the, it reached a point ma, when we were sitting with the Kabasele, he would come and tell me, I don't want to hear the word. I don't want to hear the word. Okay. And then after the performance, mm. he could quarrel this guy and tell them, I don't want to hear the word. 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 That's how I knew. Actually, mm. I learned later on that this guy wanted me to do music, but I, mean, I didn't see it. Actually, I saw it when he died. Mm. Because there's a time mm. we went to perform in Busia. Mm. There was a club being opened. It was called Eden Rock. Mm. The owner was Upepo. Yeah. Actually, a, an incident af, a, a happened when we, we went there a second time. That I didn't go that second time. Mm -hmm. And he was even put into the cell. Mm -hmm. Somebody died while he was performing. Oh. So we, when we went to a people's place to perform, mm. it was a grand opening of that hotel. Okay. This guy disappeared. Kabasele disappeared. <laughs> so Mimi Pia and Kapanga Muziki to Kanza Kucheza, but Maze yeah. it was tense because in Africa a tattoo see only Kabasele. Mm. So I also went hiding into the room. So this Kabasele had already died? No. NTA on game to what they go to turn on lal. So people are demanding. So there is this musician, Marimi Lunguni, ni, ni, ni Opeo, mm. William Opeo. Yes. Ilunguni Willie. Mm. 
still there and be put a good sugar. Not my Jamaranda, Luna Willow Macambala. So a willow knew my room, Ubiro Dwong. And in a chunga chunga, I lived in a willow in any way, would you chase them? Ziggy. Nisuala, what one alia, one attacker, one attacker VA in Congole, Mudosi to night a VA. Down and one. So, when I take a Vienna, you are you, who want to take a mini funny name? Where would you chase them? See, dancing any intense camera. So, after a while, I win your footsteps, they could be okay. I didn't know. But it so happened that when he just touched the door, to Gimurum is any Yavania might be as an idea. To Kaya only will come with any will, Sani, Ajinibana, all the water and a Leah and a Taka Vie, a penny, a moose. Do one what him now. Actually, that is rain. Oh, to our audience out there, please, we are sorry that you can't now see us because of rain. It's really raining and we have to run and rush uh, to the vehicle where we could then continue having this conversation. Kindly continue enjoying the slides and understanding or listening to what we are discussing. So Gola, let's rush over there. Kufa kwako tabu kwetu sisi watoto yako baba ye lena milai dana ya seme yako dongo kila pinti nda dongo wa kama yanda la pe awora se boko kise kamu meo ramba awora se boko kise ye ye awora se boko kise ye ye This joker do you to the mode to one night? I will not stand up, Baba will do you do it. Oh, you call the Baba Mino Digo for the Racha. Kura Rwako family, no? Hello, Willie. Only can't you stay to your Chakuma farm? Hey, I've been in Kura Gara with you, man. I mean, you know, to me, Kura Madi. To Jogu Bay Pango will be taken, but you get a solo ring your corner, be wound and an acting. To Dunga sing it to Magachaku. Mamma Jenny, at you know, at you know, Lando. At you know, you took all of war. Nya, Mamma Pariera Jaira. Yoke Langa, I performed. I did it. Imagine, I was wondering, ni jibiru market na pesa nyaka yoko, ni kabasele, kara puri ten manakama. Yani, it's like, yok yok neni yukan kabasele. It didn't. Did the next you? day, very early in the morning, mm. kabasele ubiru, and imagine, this, this was in the 90s, 91, 92 kujo. Yeah. He gave me 5k. Ma venye ni kabasele, ma manadi. Ni buwana winyo ni ni tiyo kao. I didn't know. At, at this point, mm. now that they could confuse you with Kabasele, mm. were you already having dreadlocks? No, no, no. Oh. oh, I didn't tell you that. I'm an Japun. Japun physics. Physics and mathematics. <laughs> <laughs> so actually, those days I used to shave clean. So mm. long and it had to work. High waist. Yeah, to take any more matin. Actually, very many people did know Nian the year week. That was 92, 93 Guinea. Okay. And you know, Kabasele died in 98. Mm. So we stayed with him for around 10 years. Mm. Mm. Wow, wow. Actually, it's just recently that I discovered. Mm. I think Okachi died in, in 97. Yes. Ramogi died in 97. Mm -hmm. And Kabasele died in 98. Actually, just even one year after. Those funerals, mm. I was there. The, the, the Okach funeral, mm -hmm. he sent me in person, he the represent. Mm -hmm. So, funeral, mm -hmm. what they call it? Jojira Mogi. Eh, Moi Wak, Mogonya Kalumu, which can I know? Eh, they were very good friends. Eh, 
Donc, quand on a mis à mettre un à 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 à un 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 à Now, I'd, I'd wish to ask you two questions mm -hmm. before you, I can give you time maybe to finalize. Mm -hmm. uh, how, what caused maybe the death of Kabasele? Mm -hmm. Or maybe how did he die? I know people die differently. I hear even Fredija Kadongo saying, Tomano Nega, mm -hmm. Podakia. <laughs> yeah, I can't know what, actually the real death that will take me away. So how, how or maybe what, what really uh, took him away? And then uh, who is now maybe in charge of his instruments okay. and the band? Mm. Yeah. Actually, Kabasele died that he was sick. Mm -hmm. But to me, that was psychological. Mm -hmm. Kabasele knocked to mm? Kabasele knocked to a such. Mm -hmm. The way I see it. Mm -hmm. There was a <laughs> girlfriend, a modern team, another. To Gino is what affected him. Oh. Because actually, when I was told Nick Abasele to go, I was in Kisumu. Yes. Yeah. And I, I, I used to get information Nick Abasele to go to Sijo Tere Hospital. Mm -hmm. So there's a time my wife was going to Nairobi. Then I told him, Nick, Tem Kabisa Mene Kabasele. When she came back, Tungisa Nick Abasele and Gema, and Hospital to Gema, Ulo, so which in Ngang. So I paid in Tonga Mangima Nyabili Hospital. Then I had a friend, Mulu Muni Sam. Sam had used to come to Kisumu at every end month to dog. Mm -hmm. So when he came, I told him, I was going to go to Nairobi rather than to go to Nairobi. Because he was going to Nairobi West Hospital. He was going to go to Nairobi. Actually, I was going to go to Nairobi. I didn't stay. I was going to go to Actually, at that time, I was going to go to hospital. So I was going to go to discharge. I was going to go to Jack. I was going to go to Jack. I was going to go to Jack. I was going so, Jakyota Mukikilum talk. But one thing, no time rang in Yakama. It was like he was avoiding Okoduangi, Omiwang, and Okoduangi. So, me, I saw. Actually, I either I'm talker, that Bugu Gutin. See, I was like, I'm going to go to some medicine. Because to me, he's not sick. Osebe to Katanisha. Kabi wrote up Angi's wife, and anyone. In Kabasele, that was a Tuesday. Teaching is an on game. Tuesday, Thursday, you land the radio not. Hey. I had to go back to Nairobi. And that time when he died, mm. and I had to go back to body size and manamat. Mm. Yeah. Oh, it was just psychological. Mm. Mm. Then your second question. Niti mm. ugode mi luongo ni babu. And actually, kanyoto niti story moro ma boru ma tenis mo miawa choni. You see, kabasele is first son iluongo ni Jojo Mora. O chake o more mago ha professor manichoto. Nekeji Magoani, hmm. Neka Basile go to Tenemano Kao, Mamma Nimutu Rosetal, Kaduanu. Magoha, the professor. Yes. Mm -hmm. Second born Maka Basile Ning, a big Isla Pund. Hmm. Mano Min Mingi, hmm. Asimbu Kakiako. Then third born in Bab, Babunio Chak, Joe Lukelu, Joe Lukelu and Jana Kaj. Hmm. Mene Makaka Basile Ryogi, Menegi are sisters hmm. to gain ni, ni Joe Lukelu. Hmm. So basically, I'm an annual and you think of Cabasel and Okani and Jassim, Bunga Jassim. To my job, the Martin Fastborn and Ying of Joshua Fridico. To nothing on your own, I'm not so sure. Around seventy seven, come on, it's seven seventy eight. Come on, and we know Jassim. So Babuni, a more and a gimora more. Actually, a penny got to me some instruments, no one at all. A pano or higher and a church more to you. Although Beginning Chakreka Basile is almost 30 years. Mm. Instruments of Nyabu 30 years. Yeah. Mm. Does he also do music, Babu? Yes, he does. Babu has almost four so CDs. Eh. Yes. Wow. Babu Kabasele is a tomb, man. We are going to Gongo. I need to know these songs, actually. I'll have to talk to him <laughs> so that we can allow our audience to also have the link. No, so. I'll, I'll, I'll give you his contact. Yeah. Yes. Thank you. We are also very close, God. Very close. Mm. You've brought a very interesting story. Mm. I, I know actually it's just light that will make us now end this. Yeah. But now Magoha. Yeah. Uh, were they friends or there's a way? Magoha they, they... Nego ne bass guitar. You know, no, he's a ah. ton sana in around 1972. Magoha Nego ne bass. 
So Magoha came from Kabasele to Omore, or Omore to Kabasele, or he was just with Kabasele. Magoha was just with Kabasele. Yeah. And Mare Nena, he was in Omore, Mare Nyitri School, which was in Omore. Actually, the easiest instrument to go a band and bass guitar. Then Mane Magoha go. So it's like he was not a specialist. Mm -hmm. And actually, she said somewhere near Tumnamanami or this tare, yeah. because they had a band. Mm. He must have been playing something, a band oh. ma master. Boy. So this means he started music before going to high school? Ali, Karakaba Sele, Minya no Chako 1969, 7. Do you know school? Oh, yeah. wow, wow. Chingsport, Fangi, Gita, Nemoro, Gona, This is so interesting. Yeah. Now, finally, mm. is there anything maybe you would wish, uh, because there, there are a lot of misinformation out here, at mm. least you've talked of two of them. Mm. Is there any that you feel we can handle today? Because I know we'll have another session like this. Uh, you know, there are these stories, ma, I just saw Mugiga. Mm. At Siju, Kabasele was in the US when his father died. Siju, he mm. went to game and then when he was coming to a same boat, Kocho Poto Yuro Kababa na Oto Iwago. Mago falls there. Kabasele himself told me, ni, by the time Baba was dying, yeah. they had already communicated. To room to Nepukagi room, they had communicated. Mm -hmm. So when my father died, he knew. Mm -hmm. Number two, my father is buried in Kunguni. Mm -hmm. So he eluded Kujuj. Okasimbo Kwani. Three, Kabasele in the 70s, mm -hmm. Baba was 81, Obiro mm Dala -hmm. 82, Tungiso Wanyakani. I also went to Baba yeah. to win the release 83. When I was talking about it, I didn't compose it. I didn't know what to do. A friend of mine asked me, I was like, 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 Baba was like, I was like, I was like, I And he did a song in 83. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. surely. And common sense. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But now, mm. just the final question. Mm. Final question. Mm. Uh, you said your dad was buried in Eldoret. Yes. Kabasele sings and he insists mm. that uh, he comes from Asembo Kokise. Yes. In all, almost all his songs, yes. Asembo Kokise must be mentioned. Mm. So, does it mean your dad bought land in Eldoret? A lot of land. Okay. See, I told you I have eight mothers. Mm. Kila mama nigi put in. Oh, okay. Kata and mama nigi put in. Mm. O kangi siyengi sa gita. Mami yangi siyengi ya. This story is long. Yeah, yeah. There's a day you should come. Mm. To kuru wago mbaka mbaka baba na. Yeah. Mm. Kaka newa hae buwaja. Mm -hmm. Mua de ramba malu. Mm -hmm. Mua ramba mua de eldore. Mm. Yeah. There are people even arguing ni kabasele suju yikani. Kama kabasele yike and keep lombi. Mm -hmm. Mane put baba wa. Mm. Where is Kiplombe? Kiplombe is five kilo, no, eight kilometers from Eldoret oh, town. So it's in Rift Valley? That it's is. in Rift Valley. Actually, my home is 11 kilometers, but Kiplombe is eight. I don't know Kiplombe is in the area, I don't know how to do So you come from Eldoret to the Kiplombe, to the Dalakumadake, to the Soi. Wow. To the Kongori, to the Kongori, to the Baba. Oh, okay. Mm. So finally, anything else you'd wish to add? Just mm. for today, because we'll have other shows again. Adwa Romana na diri no. Get it from us. Kaka kuru awa chani. Yes. To ngene ya. Niti kada jo dalawa mo koma okia studio. Yeah, okay. Of course, I have brothers and sisters who never met Kabasele. Give me Okay. And I was a little lucky. Ne, I knew him. We met and we became friends. Mo wa dark, mo go ko dem back. Yes. You are still doing music. Katasani kitera bundo but wadi wera wera gide gima ba. Okay. In Congolese, how do we say thank you? Because I want to thank our audience. Uh, actually, in, in Congolese, they say merci mingi. Actually, it's from the French, merci beaucoup. But then they say merci mingi. Na pesi bino merci mingi. Okay. Na wadusha shukurani sana. Okay. Engara sepeli pona bino. So tell our audience mm. that uh, you would wish everybody who publishes things mm. get it from you, like the real story. They don't. I watch in a gate of Lingala. Yes, Dolingala. Motuana, a lingi, God pena lingina ibs babino. Macambuana, but to Bazolo Baka, Licola Cabasele, Mingi Zalo Kuta, one and ibs bino. Then Dinga one is a lucky, is a lucky caca one and Gandena Ibi, as a lucky in the Kunanga. 
ya liboso nga na za leki na ye ya za ya ya pe na ebi makamu na ye na ebi bien wana na ebi si bino le lo nde makamu wana I'll come you teach me this language you are welcome any day of course we should start some some sessions to teach people this lesson I'm very much willing it's only that people are reluctant to me a language is interest so kyo zalaki na motemo wana ya kulinga kuyeba so long as you just wish that you want to know, yeah. build that interest. Mimi nilianza hivyo. And by the way, Kabasele, mm. ndiye alikuwa inspiration because the first day I had him talk Lingala tawacho nito. Mau Kabasele mwenye thiwani. Mm. Ili kakuwa juki nita anaki. <laughs> Lelo na zolo baka Lingala. Yeah. Lokola ye, alo baka kala. Wow. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> Actually, Ogola here is saying that uh, before you publish any misinformation out there, kindly look for him and he will give you the real 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 information. Dongina no ka kori manya ne. Yeah. Very good. Manya tangis. Yeah. The real information. Yes. So don't spread misinformation, get it from the source. Of course Ogola is here in Kisumu. And uh, if you want to get him, just talk to me via comment section and uh, I'll link you to Ogola. Very good. If if I want to say my name is Kwach. Mm. How do I say it in Congolese? Kwach. Yeah. The animal or Kwach no, no, no. name. No, like uh, you want to say my name is Kwach. Kombo nanga kwach. Kombo kombo nanga. Kombo. Kombo nanga. Kombo nanga kwach. Ozo kwach the animal is called nkoi. Nkoi. Eh nkoi in lingala eh. Okay. Ndio so, yona sikawa na mbaka kibinda nkoi. <laughs> so today I'm nkoi. <laughs> yeah nkoi. Kombo nanga kwach. Kombo nanga kwach. Yes. Oh thank you. So I really thank you so much uh, for being with us since we began this. This is the best time that I could find Ogola. Of course, when you find the real source of information, you utilize so that we get the real information. Thank you so much for being with us. My name is Mkoi. Bye-bye. <laughs> <laughs>